are you looking at? It's just an apple, isn't it? Not quite. Avant-garde art began with such an ordinary apple. From an apple? Exactly. From Paul Cezanne and the distortion of perspective. Looking at the apple from every angle, he noticed that it wasn't as we see it. As the old Flemish masters painted still lifes. How so? Cezanne used a stereoscope. A stereo dash what? Stereo what? In 1849, Charles Wheatstone created the stereoscope a prototype of seeing through 3D glasses. Do you know why we have two eyes instead of one? Now what difference does it make? It makes a huge difference. One eye alone cannot perceive perspective. It's only after combining the views from the right and left eyes that we see it. When we close one eye, we see in 2D. With both eyes, we see in 3D. Stereoscopy is depth perception. When we look at an object, each of our eyes sees it from a slightly different angle. Sending those images to the brain, the brain processes the difference in viewing angles and merges them into one image. When we see into D with one eye, we struggle with depth perception. Like driving a car, Charles Wheatstone created the reflecting stereoscope to enable people with vision problems to see 3D images. And Cezanne had one in the stereoscope. The images don't align perfectly. It's not precise vision. The image it produces is slightly shifted. And Cezanne used that shift, Cezanne blurry. By using the stereoscope, he understood that linear perspective didn't make sense because both eyes see from different perspectives angles using the highest ladder to heaven. Cezanne observed different viewpoints and painted his still lifes using multiple perspectives in one picture. Cezanne also used another invention by Charles Wheatstone, the pseudoscope. It changes perception. What we see in the right eye switches sides, and we see that image in the left, and vice versa. As a result, the brain sees convex shapes, as concave and concave as convex, as if we flip the mask. Everything is reversed. What's close becomes distant, and what's distant becomes close. These two discoveries led Cezanne not only to change perspective, but also to simplify the objects he painted into their simplest forms, cubes, cones, ovals, cylinders. And he was the first to paint using three-dimensional depth, as in sculpture. It was such a revolution that it contributed to the creation of the first avant-garde movements in art, cubism, breaking down the image, seen into its prime factors, and Fauvism, painting without perspective and reducing shapes only to lines.